Hey guys, what is up? It's Gamefacer, and welcome back to an enchantment uh, guide today. And basically, um, I'm going to be showing you best ways of getting best enchantments, and um, also how to make a good enchantment table. Basically, what you need to do is obviously find uh, a flat piece of land, or the, obviously the place that you want to uh, build it. Uh, I'm just going to show you in creative today, um, and I think I'm gonna, just going to do it here. Um, so what we obviously start off with is the enchantment table itself and um, what people tend to do, now I don't know whether it makes uh, any difference, is obviously um, normally people would put wood down here or something but actually um, I think you're supposed to put bookshelves um, down here, I don't know whether that improves the chances of getting um, decent enchantments or not but um, that's what a lot of people seem to do and uh, it seems to work quite well. Um, however also, people put. Um, I've also seen people put glowstone blocks underneath um, the actual enchantment table itself. So um, I'm going to be trying various different things um, today. But basically, uh, what you need to do. In fact, um, I'll get myself something that I'm going to be enchanting. So we get diamond sword. Um, let's get that. Nice. Right. So we got diamond sword. Um, also, you don't need to put in the corners when making an, ch an enchantment table. That can save you um, some books because obviously it's really difficult to make. Um, but you'll see here if I put in a diamond sword that I can only get to. I think it's level 22. Yeah, it's level 22. Um, so what I do need to do is you don't actually need a full um, enchantment table. You can. Um, sorry, you don't need a full um, like bookshelves surrounding it. I think uh, you only need four more there. Is that correct? Right, okay, we'll try it with, we'll get rid of one, and let's have a look, right, okay, so it was right. So all you need is an extra four on top, and that is actually getting your max level there. You don't actually need to bother with the rest of them. Obviously, if you want to, because it'll look better probably in the room, normally people tend to put them up to a height of three, but obviously, as you can understand, um, it can take a lot of bookshelves. If I decide to do it up to three there, um, wait, I'll just quickly finish um, then I, I don't again I don't think it actually increases the chances of um, you getting a good sword so if you do it like that um, we'll just wait for a good we'll just we'll do five clicks so that's the second click third fourth and fifth okay so so there we've got sharpness three and knockback two and we'll try one um, with out that now obviously this isn't a fantastic experiment but I'm just seeing whether it does make much of a difference so one two three four five so being of arthropods four and knockback two so you have got a four on the arthropods but obviously a lot of people don't really like that so it doesn't seem like that makes much of a difference we'll keep it um we'll keep it with a bookshelf underneath what we will do though is destroy um the rest of that there and we'll just keep um, four of them. It doesn't matter where the four are, so they can all be at one side. Um, so I believe that is the um, that's what I was wanting, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so if we put it in there. We've got level thirty. One, two, three, four, five. Right there we go. And we've got sharpness three. So even though it's not a, you know fully scientific experiment, and for a start actually, if I oh no, I won't bother going on my uh, survival map but um, I actually did a f my first enchantment on my uh, survival game and um, I only have these this amount of bookshelves at the moment and um, I did five clicks and I managed to get um, I think it was um, fire aspect two um, looting two and sharpness four so and that's just with these so I, enchantment tables they can be um, a bit strange but what you need to be looking for most of the time is um, it's strange to say it, but long names, but not too long, because um, as you can see, that one's uh, sorry, that one was quite a long name on the bottom, and that ended up being arthropods. So this one again, you need to just make sure that it's not too long, but it's actually a decent size. So I'll just show you again. Um, I'll just chuck these in there, put that in there, and we'll get some more diamond swords. Right. Okay. So again. That one, it's a decent size, so I might get something like knockback or sharpness. Instead, I actually got bane of arthropods. So again, you need to. However, I did get uh, knockback, like I said. This one could be bane of arthropods, or it could be um, knockback or sharpness, since 
uh, Bane of Afterpods would be a bit longer, I think, on there. So we'll see what that one is. It's sharpness and not back, like I said. Um, this one, Bane of Afterpods, so it's interesting to see how frequently you actually get them. Now, them shorter ones, that one was a bit of a shorter enchantment that had smite on it, shorter word. Um, and again here, it's got a bit of a shorter um, word, that one's quite a short word, and they're individually quite short words. And you've ended up with four enchantments, so you can see how strange it can be. But if you notice that we actually had four words, um, and we've got four enchantments there, so that's something you need to also look out for. So you've got three words there, but it doesn't always necessarily mean you'll have three enchantments. Look on there, you've got three enchantments on that. You look one, two, maybe that's classed as three, maybe it's classed as four. And uh, there you go, again it's a long word, so that might be classed as two um, words. So it can really vary, um, but nobody really fully understands how an uh, enchantment table works. Again, four words there. You might get three enchantments, you might get two like I've got there. So um, basically being able to do this, you, on average you've got to kind of go with um, what is kind of expected. So on this one for example you've got a high percentage of a chance of getting um, maybe smite on this one because of how short some of the words are and how it doesn't go onto a second line. But you've got a high percentage, it's not necessarily uh, fully confirmed. There again you've got three enchantments. So normally like this one you'd have a high percent of getting multiple enchantments on there you've only got two so it can really sort of vary um, if we go for one of these ones here you'll see that um, it'll probably end up being knockback but a lower enchantment on it so if I get that one you got knockback one there like that um, so once you get used to some of the patterns you can actually tell which some of them could be like that one might be sharpness I don't know sharpness one knockback one um, so you can get um, really used to some of them, like Bane of Arthropods will probably won't be on this one, like you go there. Um, and you can kind of just predict some of them um, just by remembering some of the words. So obviously what I would do is go into creative and do this quite a bit and kind of remember a few of them, because you'll naturally remember some of the symbols and some of the shapes that um, come out. So this one again, I don't really know what this one could be, but you can see that that one's a really good uh, sword, that one. And um, again, that's probably going to be something like knockback or sharpness, maybe even Bane of Arthropods, but it's going to be a low enchantment. Uh, that's actually Smite, so like I say, it's only a high percentage of it being knockback, sharpness, or a Bane of Arthropods. Um, but it's not necessarily true that it could be that, but it's, like I say, it's a high percentage. Um, again, this one, it could be anything. It could be knockback 1, or it could be knockback 4. Again, you've got Bane of Arth Arthropods, so again, it's just about high percentage of you being able to um, get that. You can see that's a level 19, so you're probably expecting maybe an enchantment of 2 or 3 on uh, something there. So you got Bane of Alpha Pods 3. Um, I'll do a couple more Diamond Swords just to show you. Um, this one again level th level 30, probably expecting Knockback, Sharpness, or Bane of Alpha Pods, or a combination of them three. Um, there you've got Looting and Knockback. So just quickly get some more and then this will be it. Um, Again, we'll go for a 9 here, probably going to be sharpness, but you never know. It's actually not back, not back 1. Um, again, this one you probably expect it to be smite, and probably 90% chance that it is smite, but there's always um, a possibility that it's something else. It might even be Bane of Arthropods. It can really vary. Uh, you actually got smite 1 there, like I said. Um, but like I'm saying, you know, it's just high percentage. Um, again, this probably is not back, but it's only a high percentage, maybe 90% chance that it could be not back or have it on it. Again, it doesn't. So um, you've really got got to get used to some of the symbols that are shown on here. And there is actually um, a Minecraft wiki. It does um, translate some of what the symbols mean, and you can actually sort of find out um, exactly what they mean. But it it comes up saying like land, earth and water and stuff so it's not always um, really sort of easy anyway if you translate what all the symbols mean um, but if I go for the last one um, I think I've seen that one before I think I might be not back I don't know again um, just to guess this one could it be not back is it not back one smite one instead you see how it can vary it really could change and um, basically I hope this has helped um, like I say though um, you can have an enchantment table as big as you want as long as it goes um, 
around it in one layer, uh, missing out the corners, and um, plus four on the other layer. So by that I mean, if we just get rid of that and put one there, that is the lowest amount of bookshelves you'll need to be able to get a level 30 enchantment. Um, and obviously there's no limit, um, you can have as many as you want to be able to get a level 30 enchantment. And it'll also be interesting to see whether you guys think that um, putting a glowstone block underneath it actually does make any difference. I might do that experiment later. Uh, but thank you for watching guys. Um, if you have enjoyed this and it has helped you then go leave a like and subscribe. And um, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.